So No Time To Die is out and I'm very excited actually, I'm really looking forward to seeing it, obviously it's got good reviews, there seems to be a strong reaction to it from fans, either they love it or hate it but I'll have to see. But this video is about who's going to take over from Daniel Craig and I really do believe it should be Henry Cavill. Now one of the first reasons I believe it should be Henry Cavill is because he's a return to the more debonair, the more um, conventionally handsome James Bond. Now this is important because we need a James Bond who's going to be differentiated from Daniel Craig and I've heard Tom Hardy name in the mix. For me he's too much of that kind of rough and tumble, um, gritty looking I guess but I guess Tom Hardy could I guess go into a more suave look if you want to but Conventionally, I think he's too similar to Daniel Craig, whereas Henry Cavill is a real departure from the Craig films, and that's what we need in an actor. Almost a kind of uh, return to the Pierce Brosnan, return to the Roger Moore type, because I really do feel like the Bond series needs more fun. It needs to go back to that. It's had several movies of a more serious, a more human Bond, a more emotional Bond. It needs to go back to the more fun wild just escapism James Bond in my opinion you know not entirely camp maybe even a return to Pierce Brosnan's type of films you know because Pierce Brosnan's films I feel sorry for the guy because the scripts were just bad but he was great like the approach for his Bond was great let's go back to that let's go back to these fun adventures we can't really go anywhere more with the human James Bonds at this point you know the Daniel Craig films have you know, apparently No Time to Die goes even further and, you know, takes Bond to places you never accept, expect whatsoever. So, we've kind of gone as far as we can with the human Bond. And I think if you were to try and take the series even more grounded after this, I think that would be suicide. I think the only approach now is to just make an outrageous, crazy, fun James Bond film, surely. Another reason I think he should be is because he had a chance with Superman which didn't really work out. You know, I think uh, Henry Cavill is decent as Superman, I think he's a, a good choice. He deserves a chance to be that household name character because Superman didn't really work out but it wasn't really Henry Cavill's fault. And it, it would be fun to see Henry Cavill actually get a chance to be a household name character like James Bond because I think he's a good actor. I think the man from Uncle proved he's a great spy actor, he has a look of James Bond. And for me, Henry Cavill is a movie star. He really, really is, you know. I think he's actually more of a movie star than an actor. You know, he's a good actor, but he just, he has that screen presence. He, he really, really does. I actually think that Daniel Craig's more of a actor than a screen presence. You know, you, you find with a lot with the Bond actors that you either get that. For example, like Sean Connery was more of an actor, whereas Roger Moore, screen presence, you know, just hooked you to the screen. And that's kind of what James Bond is. You'll either get an actor type or someone who just glues you to the screen. And that's what I think Henry Cavill can do. Again, I think it would be suicide to try and make it more grounded or to try and continue with that. I don't know how much you would do. Think how much the Bond... Daniel Craig Bonds have deconstructed the character and I'm you know I like the Daniel Craig Bond films I like Daniel Craig as James Bond they're very ambitious they're very radical they're very good but dear god what can you do you, you've even made Money Penny a main character you've made M a main character you've made all you know you've opened up the world so much that the only way is to pull back a bit with this world and to remember what made it great when it wasn't the Daniel Craig style you know the trouble that you have when you deconstruct a franchise is what do you do when that side of things is over Henry Cavill is a safe option for James Bond he really really is I feel like lots of people are saying an unknown or a less known actor I personally don't agree because after Daniel Craig you're gonna need to capture people's attention again people are gonna be you know James Bond's kind of uh, tapped out after No Time to Die for sure, you know, we've waited so long for this movie, we've had Daniel Craig as James Bond for so long guys, think about it, for so long, we've had bloody Daniel Craig, um, so many movies, such a journey, some movies better than others, 
but such a journey, some of the best James Bond movies, some of the most, mm, also, but you've done so much, I mean, you know, dear God, you know, where do you go from here, you know, where do you hang your hat, you know, I feel like you just need a reliable James Bond, because people are going to need to be drawn into the theatre again, and an unknown, I don't know if that's going to happen, I think that Henry Cavill is a good actor to hang your hat on, because he's, he's known, he's likeable, that's another thing, you know, Henry Cavill, you always see it around, shared on social media, he's a good guy, he's a good person, he says good things about Superman, he says he loved playing the role, he just, he rubs people the right way, Henry Cavill, you know, and we need a Bond like that, you know, but he can be that kind of smug, jokey Bond, I'm sure, um, but also the likeable Bond, so, you know, Roger Moore always walked that fine line between being a little bit smirky and a little bit arrogant, but he was likeable as a person. And you've always got to walk that fine line. I always felt like Sean Connery, you know, he's the best James Bond in my opinion. I think I voted in the best James Bond in my video. I can't remember. Just purely as Bond. You know, but he's the one who's just a little bit... He's a, he's an arsehole, really. He, he, he pretty much is an arsehole, but he's so good. But Henry Cavill, you can maintain that sense of likability. Um, he doesn't have to be an arsehole. Um, so if you want a likeable Bond, if you want a Bond who's you know, clearly going to draw people in, clearly looks the part, clearly kind of represents a new era for the character. I think Henry Cavill, why not? I mean, you know, one of the reasons why he wasn't going to do it because he was doing Superman, now he's not. Let's do it. Let's do Henry Cavill's Bond. It gets me excited for a kind of reinvention of James Bond. I think Henry Cavill's the only choice, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know if you think Henry Cavill should be the new James Bond, and let me know if you see No Time to Die. Thanks for listening, I'll see you guys next time.